My name is Michael McGinnis and I am 68 years old. I am from California, United States, and I have been off dialysis for the last two and a half months. And I cannot tell you what a relief and how grateful I am to be able to find an alternative uh, method, which we found through Dr. Dimitri and through European Wellness, to find a way for my kidneys to regenerate themselves. So in January of 2018, I suffered a massive heart attack on my way back to the United States from Ecuador. And um, several days later was placed in a United States hospital and was told that I needed to have stents put into my heart. In the process of putting one of the stents in my heart, they punctured a cardiac uh, artery and my heart was bleeding. Uh, they then transferred me to another hospital in the United States. So I was uh, placed in the hospital and I um, received the five stents. Uh, I was heavily sedated. They intubated me uh, and I was on a respirator as a result of the surgery. When I came uh, out of the surgery and was under sedation, the second day they went to remove the uh, balloon that was inside to help with the respiration and in the process they didn't adequately deflate the balloon and as they were pulling it out I reached a point where I couldn't breathe I was suffocating they had to deflate the balloon push it back in and then take it out and that's important because that caused me a certain amount of trauma in terms of my ability to breathe which I'll talk about in just a little bit so <clears throat> after they placed the stents I was in recovery but I was not recovering well so they decided to run another test and they found out that I had a um, what's called regurgitation in my heart. So my heart valve wasn't doing the job properly and there was blood flowing back in to the heart rather than flowing through the heart and this was causing pulmonary distress so I couldn't breathe. The next step was is that they decided to do what's called a mitral valve clip. They ran a, uh, a small tube through my vein in my leg up to my heart and they placed a clip in, on the valve in an attempt to try to help the valve to open and shut correctly. In the process of doing that, the clip that they put in was too small for the opening, but there wasn't enough room to put two of them in there. And when they put the clip in, by accident, they also had the clip grab part of my heart, which caused internal bleeding. So the expectation was that the clip would help my, my breathing and help my heart. But in fact, what happened uh, very shortly after I had the clip is that I became even worse. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't walk, I couldn't move, and I became very anemic. I was losing blood for some reason, and it turned out it was the clip in the heart. So the next step in the hospital was that they decided to do open heart surgery and replace my mitral valve, which they did. In the process of the open heart surgery, which was successful, they replaced my valve, which is working fine. But in that process, they use a catheter to make the blood flow around the heart so that it doesn't go into the heart. And when they took the catheter out of my heart, out of my vessels, they dislodged plaque in my arteries. And that plaque went through my body and settled in my kidneys something that apparently happens quite frequently with open heart surgery, but something they had not told us about prior to the surgery. So several weeks after the open heart surgery, when I was in recovery, my kidneys shut down and they no longer functioned. So now I have open heart surgery and a valve that is trying to recover and work, but I also have lost all function of my kidneys. The uh, medical response to that was to place me on dialysis, which I was put on. <clears throat> um, so I went to dialysis three times a week, four hours a day, plus I had an hour travel time to and from the dialysis, dialysis center. My third week in dialysis, I asked the head nurse, is there anything that I can do that will make my kidneys repair itself? And she turned to me and she said, honey, you need to 
accept that this is going to be your life for the next 30 years until you die. There's nothing we can do to restore your kidneys or to regenerate that tissue. I myself and my wife are the kind of person who don't like to hear no, so I, didn't, I chose not to believe that. We set out on trying to find a different way outside of Western medicine that could possibly, some hope that we could possibly rejuvenate my kidney function, which we were able to do. So in the process of us searching for alternatives uh, treatment for my kidneys to try to get the kidney function back, and I'm still on dialysis, uh, my wife and I went to a conference in San Diego, uh, a conference in which I was so weak and so unable uh, in terms of my health, my breathing, my kidney function, needing to be on dialysis, that I couldn't attend the entire conference. But my wife did, and in that process, she met uh, Dimitri, uh, from European Wellness and began to talk a little bit about my situation and um, we continued after that conference to have a relationship with Dimitri who is absolutely fantastic. So after making contact with Dr. Dimitri at the San Diego conference uh, we decided to try a regimen uh, of MOs, of uh, microorganelles which we did uh, 10 weeks, twice a week, and with that there was some improvement in my kidney function. And during the course of treatment with the, the MOs, the microorganelles, what happened is that my kidney function returned. And uh, four or five weeks into my treatment of MOs, I got a call from my Western doctor nephrologist who called me into her office and said, I don't know how to explain this, but you can get off of dialysis. And I have been off dialysis for the last two and a half months. And I cannot tell you what a relief and how grateful I am to be able to find an alternative uh, method, which we found through Dr. Dimitri and through European Wellness to find a way for my kidneys to regenerate themselves, which apparently they are in the process of doing. Um, I went from stage five kidney failure to stage three kidney failure, which is where I am now, and I am con continuing to take MO treatments, and I'm continuing to improve in my health for both my heart and for my kidneys. After starting the treatment with uh, MO, so with my organelles, there was such an improvement that uh, I was able to get off of dialysis. So <clears throat> during the process of the treatment with the MOs and with the live stem cells and frozen stem cells, I experienced no side effects whatsoever in a negative way. The positive way is that my kidneys got better, my heart is getting better. But there's something else that I would like to add, which has to do with the psychological or the emotional component of this. As I mentioned before, when I was in the hospital, I had an an incredible high amount of anxiety because at one point I couldn't breathe. So one of the things that was happening is that as my heart wasn't functioning well and my kidneys wasn't functioning well, in other words my body was kind of um, not functioning on the level it was supposed to, I had to deal with anxiety about my body and depression about my body. Because what happened to me is that I became very, very angry with my body. I became angry at my kidneys, I became angry with my heart, because I had gone from a vibrant 67-year-old male uh, with a wonderful wife and a wonderful life to someone who couldn't walk across the room without oxygen and who had to be on dialysis in order to urinate. So for several months what happened to me is that I became very, very angry with myself, with my body. I felt that my body had betrayed me. With the help of the MOs, the mitoorganelles, mito and the stem cells, and seeing the increase and improvement in my condition, and with my own changing my mind, which I think is very important in this process. So what I did is I changed, I changed my position with my own self from being angry at myself and feeling like my body had betrayed me to being very gentle and caring about myself and trying to support and feel uh, gratitude for whatever function my kidneys and my heart had. 
one of the things that a lot of people kind of chuckle about is that every single day I have a conversation with my kidneys. I thank them very much for functioning. I thank them for working. I help them to improve. I ask them what I can do to make them better. The point being that it's not only a physiological change that I had to go through, but I also had to go through a mental and a spiritual change to readjust myself to my own body, to my own self. The MOs and European wellness certainly gave me a great deal of hope, whereas Western medicine had not. But in order to make the treatment the very best possible, I had to change what was going on inside of my own mind and inside of my own body. and treat my kidneys almost like a child who had been injured rather than uh, be angry at myself. And I think that psychological switch and the reduction of anxiety, the elimination of the depression, and having that relationship with my own body on an emotional and psychological level contributes and continues to contribute greatly to my continuing improving health. My overall experience with European wellness uh, is remarkable. I can't say enough about it. They are the ones through Dr. Dimitri uh, and through Mike who gave me the hope and gave me the support along with my wife and of course my own internal process to be able to recover. I have some concerns about the absence of um, sufficient emotional and psychological support for people going through this process. I think as far as the body is concerned, the body mechanisms are concerned, the uh, use of MOs, of nanopeptides, of stem cells, I think that European wellness exceeds probably everybody else out there. And I don't think at this point if somebody else came and offered me treatment, uh, I would take it. I think I would stick with European wellness on the physical level. I do have some concerns about uh, European wellness being able to support that physical recovery with emotional and psychological health, and I think that's the direction that they will go in.